So can you even imagine what Erin Andrews must feel like? I think she has every right to be really angry. I mean, imagine if a secret tape of you naked was floating around on the Internet. I mean, come on. Joining me tonight, right here with me in New York, Megan Alexander, who's a correspondent with Inside Edition. In Hollywood tonight, Carlos Diaz, who's a correspondent for Extra. So we heard Aaron Andrews praising the criminal justice system for getting the peeper creeper locked up. But she made it clear, you know, two and a half years, that's not going to make up for the fact that nude videos of her will be on the web forever. Imagine. I mean, Megan, do you think justice was served here? She came out swinging when she said, look, it's not over. This will forever follow me. The Internet, you know, you think about the way you can access video and pictures nowadays. It's always out yeah, it there. it doesn't go away. Exactly. She came out swinging and she said, look, I'm a daughter. You have daughters. Think about how I feel. I thought that was interesting to bring that comparison together. And then just to boldly say, I'm going to do what I can to speak on behalf of other victims who aren't famous ESPN reporters yeah. and will never get the voice that she now has. Yeah, Carlos, she seemed pretty honked off at the fact that this guy is not doing as much time as it seems like he should be doing. What do you think? Yeah, he should have gotten more time than 30 months. I applaud the judge for giving him 30 instead of 27 months, but it should have been a much stiffer sentence to send a message out to people. This is unacceptable behavior. And, you know, I, I, I started my career at ESPN. I started my career in sports. I can tell you right now, there is not a more, we all know this, a more male-dominated area than sports. And Aaron has to worry about every time she goes into a locker room, people whispering behind her back. And she'll never, ever get past this. And that's why I think that she has to live with this sentence, this guy, this scumbag, needs to live with a tougher sentence than two and a half years behind bars. Yeah, I mean, really, she's going to be paying the price for what he did, and she was doing such a good job breaking through the male-dominated madness of the sports world. And we heard about this peephole video guy uh, you know, some time ago now, but from the first time we were hearing about it, some people actually suggested that Andrews may have had a part in it, that maybe it was some kind of a PR stunt to get her noticed. I got to tell you, I think that is absolutely ridiculous, but there are some people that think that Andrews actually invited this unwanted attention from her stalker. Again, nuts. Well, this morning on Good Morning America, I thought it was great seeing how Aaron Andrews shot back about that. Watch this. I did nothing wrong, and I think what is the hardest thing is that I still have to say that to people. I still had to say that yesterday on the court steps. You know, how can you do this? Or, you know, how did you feel it was okay to go on with your life? You turn the tables on them and say, because what did I do? <laughs> what did I do wrong? Yeah, again, it has been proven that Andrews is the innocent victim here. Megan, why do you think people still want to blame Aaron Andrews here? That, to me, is nuts. I think it's cruel, and I think it doesn't make any sense. She should not be held captive by fear from this man, or, or this man should not be allowed to have that control of her. She said she's forever looking over her shoulder now, forever fearful as she walks down hallways. She should be allowed to do whatever she wants. I think people want to criticize. Carlos brought up the male-dominated uh, sports world. Again, we're seeing some breakthroughs, but I think it's just people that simply want to comment. I don't think there's an argument here that she brought it on herself. Well, hopefully she'll get to start to feel some freedom when she joins up with Dancing with the Stars. That's the next big move for Aaron Andrews. She'll be competing on the show, and when we first looked that she was going to be on Dancing with the Stars, a lot of people actually were pretty surprised that she would put herself out there while she's already been under so much scrutiny. I mean, she's going to be judged every single week on that show. Well, after her stalker was sentenced, you got to watch what she had to say about moving on with her life. This is great. Now, I want to smile. I want to live my life. I don't want to be a victim anymore. And I want to set an example for other victims that are told, do you think you should be doing this because a victim and you got stopped? No. Why should I run and hide? Yeah. When I heard this, I'm thinking, way to go. Right on, Aaron. No reason for her to let this scandal define her. A very mature and, quite frankly, brave thing for her to do. Carlos, I am actually thinking Dancing with the Stars is exactly what the doctor ordered for her. Yeah, what's she supposed to do? Sit at home? The stalker wins if she just, you know, goes into, like, hiding in a cave someplace. Here's the thing. She goes on Dancing with the Stars. She does a great job. She kicks Chad Ochocinco's butt all over the dance floor. <laughs> and then people are talking about that and not this stalker guy. I mean, that this is the perfect thing for her. And I'm so happy she's moving on with her life. And it's not too soon. She needs to get on with her life and start a new chapter in her life. Yeah, if there is any justice here at all, perhaps it is the fact that she has this opportunity to reinvent herself also with Dancing with the Stars and make a whole new name for herself. Megan Alexander, Carlos Diaz, thanks guys, I appreciate it.